No, 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 no. I finished this hallway. It went all the way down to the end. There was a wall here. It was closed off. It was done. There was a wall here. And now there's an empty hallway where mobs can spawn in. No one is going to believe me when I say I finish things anymore. Hello there, beautiful pixels. My name is Aladrium, and welcome back to Truly Bedrock Season 6. Back here in the shopping district is where we're going to start today. I have done another thing. The Gundam is now distressed, and the boardwalk is now complete. I've started by putting in, like, a scar in the Gundam's eye, like it got punched off of the face and fell down, and this is kind of where it landed. The whole left side of it is all sorts of beat up. We've got some... Various shades of blocks, and then also some stalactites kind of in there to make it look more ruined. The horns fallen off. It's just covered in vines on one side. And then over here, we have the um, the undamaged section that uh, seems to be impervious to any of the type of the weathering that we've applied to it. I thought that that was a fun touch. I do have two new trees around this, too. It's actually that tree and then that tree because I love that tree so much. But um, for some reason, they look horrible uh, from the direction I'm looking at. So we'll just have to live with that. I have also added in a new boardwalk area over here, and I've tried to carry forth the pattern that's come over from this bridge. We've extended this bridge over here to the right a little bit, and I've kind of carried down the jungle wood and then the other various types of blocks uh, along the fencing here, just to see if we can mend that a little bit together. This is a very, very weird fence, and I don't know how I feel about it. So let me know down in the comments whether you even like this i thought that it would be fun to play around with these are just the um fence gates and they're just all open so they look just a little bit different when you're looking at it from a distance things just look a little bit different and i like the different and the uniqueness the game show right here has also been opened up so rather than just coming down these stairs we have this section cordoned off still so that we can extend the shopping district back further that direction but this hallway uh pathway is now open all the way down and we now have a nice connection point that bridges the game show area to what I think is going to be the museum and also the redstone shop. I'm very, very happy with how this turned out. And I'm excited to know what you think as well. Did Adequate and I do a good job on the shop? Let me know down in the comments. And now, as you might have guessed, this whole episode is going to be about finishing up projects. And we have unfinished business with the one and only Rogue Fox. So why don't we meet up with him and start work on our Blaze Farm? Hey there, Rogue. Hey, what's up, Bladream? Hey, so uh, I heard that we're going to be making a blaze farm today because we want stuff we want to sell, right? Oh, yeah. We got stuff we want to sell and there's XP to have. So there is XP to have. I mean, have you look look at this. Have you seen this pickaxe? This pickaxe is in dire need of repair. Please give that back. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> should have just ran off with it. Yeah, yes, like, definitely. Hey, okay, uh... there's my pickaxe. That was a mistake. <laughs> this right? was a trust exercise you just passed. <laughs> <laughs> So um, I have seen, I don't know if you've seen this over here, but someone is selling blaze rods on the server already, which uh, kind of cuts into our plan a little bit. But yeah. I still think that we can sell maybe like copper bulbs or anything that uses uh, blaze rods. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I, I agree. I did see this come up. And I was a little bummed because we were just talking about last time that we didn't see a shop like this, but here it is. But with the blaze rods, yeah, we can make the copper bulbs just need well, some redstone and some copper that's right and i have plenty of redstone and hey don't don't you worry if some for some reason we need more blaze rods we'll just steal it all from that shop okay that's our backup <laughs> plan for the night we'll just steal there everything from his shop and then plop another shop on the other side of it and claim it's ours and then we said it's on the green tunnel yeah yep and then i don't know if you've been down here lately but i dug that tunnel out so once we come out to the first nether fortress we can just run down the tunnel Lovely, lovely. All right, uh, show the yeah. way through your tunnel. I'll close this up behind us. All right. And I know that you want to live very, very badly, so I am well stocked on totems, too, in case we have any unforeseen incidents. <laughs> I appreciate it. And I do have one in my hand. Look at you with scaffolding all fancy-like. Oh, yeah. That's how I roll. 
and I even have a little little ceiling for us too. Oh wow! Oh, okay. I know where we are now. Nice. Yeah. All right. Let me get rid of that skeleton there. And I and I, uh, I need to eat. Hey, look at that! The blaze farm's working just fine. Great job, Rogue. <laughs> All right. Let's call it a night. Yeah, night. Okay, great. <laughs> We're going home now. <laughs> that's just like really that's like how many is that two three seven seven blaze rods you just got right there um oh, that's a dude well oh yeah where'd he go oh you got him i, I got him i got him okay um, oh, okay here's my least favorite part about the nether is i have trust issues do you have trust issues with these like uh i know that like the light says you're good hi oh hi right behind you right there i know the light means it's safe but every time i click this i fear i'm gonna blow up but i did oh, that yeah. time okay so um if we have that pack installed all we need to do yikes oh yikes apparently when that happens they uh the farm also catches on fire that's lovely so all we need to do is get this kind of like aligned and basically, once okay. we have it aligned, um, it'll just kind of show us where we need to go. So oh, it's, it's up here, right? There's another one up here. Yes. Okay, I wasn't sure this was the one we we're starting with or ow. Let's start with this one because everything's trying to kill us up here. Yeah, I know this one's still exposed too, so I don't know if we need to block this one up. Yeah, let's let's block it up. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to die. Yeah, let's uh, let, let's go upstairs and block this up real quick <laughs> before we Agreed. have another accident. Oh my goodness, Rogue! There's like six blazes up here. Oh, I see. oh wow. Uh, I do not have. Oh, okay. any four any blocks work like that? That one down there isn't spawning, so I assume so. Okay, it didn't work. <laughs> oh, I thought it was. Yeah, I was like, I thought it was the light at first. The um. What do you call it? The glowstone? Well, uh, looks like we need to clear out some stuff. Yes. And then uh, we can get working. Uh, how about we uh, bring a camera account over here? So okay. We can record time lapse stuff. Sounds good. And if we're lucky, we'll even get some deaths. So, uh, shall we go test this then? Um, do you want me to go back over there to the to the blaze farm and then you can come over here and just wait for them to come through? They should just pop through and you can get them if you just want to check if this works. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. Do you have, um, you have an axe on you, right? So. I do. So that's, that's better than what I have. <laughs> All right. Uh, where is that portal? Uh, um, 516. Yep, 516, 10, 9, 20. Come on down to me, your favorite person. Oh, it's a sheep. I'm going to go shear the sheep. So we can have a bed. Oh, you would only have one wool. Okay, there's just uh, two that went through. Three that went through. I see him. And they aren't escaping, doing anything crazy? Nope, they're just hanging out in the portal right now. Kind of waiting for them to make their way down. There they go. Just trying to get pushed. And then we could probably bring like a regen beacon up here too. Just, um, we decide to AFK at all. Oh, yes. And I do have my... Actually, like I said, I was running through here earlier. And I actually came up with... I now have an additional 15 Wither Skulls. Oh, wow. Yeah. So this would be a bad time to tell you that Moss has a beacon shop, right? I... I saw. <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, hey, you know what? I might as well just make my own. I don't know what he's charging for him. 
Uh, is it like an arm and a leg? No, just a diamond block. Oh. Which I don't have, but, you know, yeah, I imagine, you know, you're, you're a wealthy fella. I imagine you have that. I'm, I may have a few diamond blocks. Yeah, I, I don't have any diamond blocks right now. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm <laughs> in between diamonds waiting for one of my shops to come through. Gotcha. All right, uh, Rogue, so let's, uh, let's show everyone how this works, shall we? So, okay. uh, all of our mobs will come down here through this. We need to place some carpets over here. And uh, all of the blazes will come down. You can just slice them to your heart's content. All of our drops. Oh, look at that. We have dirt. Look at that. We already have 53 blocks or 53 um, items of blaze rods down here. But uh, you can either have one account on the other side, uh, AFK, and you can just sit here and just auto click. Or if we come over here, if you want to follow me with a rocket, up here, we have ourselves a lovely little arrow. And I'll wait for you to land so you can get here. If you uh, are doing this by yourself, you can stack up a whole bunch of the nasty mobs there on the other side for you. And if you stand like right here in the middle and just give this a nice solid throw, you should be able to throw that just about where it is. Wow. Bye. And uh, all <laughs> the mobs should still be here uh, when you come over. That's a nice, easy way. Oh, that nice landing. I saw that landing. All the mobs should still be here when uh, we come to the overworld because uh, you can break the uh, the despawn barrier. So that's a nice little nifty trick for you. So this is totally yeah. usable as a one player farm, too. Nice. Yeah, that'll be perfect. That's that's a lot of happiness right there. That is definitely. Now, I'm curious. So there's 53 blaze rods. Mm -hmm. I'm curious to see what this is going to be. Once we're done with this batch. Probably a lot. Let's find out. Okay. <laughs> it's so laggy, I don't even hear them die. <laughs> Same. I was just about to say that. Let's see if there's any XP hanging out in the, the hoppers. It looks like there might be. Oh, um, what do you mean? Um, it looked like the if there's XP still falling down into the hoppers, but I'm not sure. Let me see. Oh, did a bunch of XP just come through? Um, maybe. Yeah, so we could probably break... Oh, just oh. a little bit. Oh, that was a lot of XP. My pickaxe was totally broken and now it's fully repaired. Okay, oh, yeah, okay. that was a lot. All right, so we had 53, you said? We had 53 blaze rods. We now have um, five, almost six stacks. So we got almost yeah. five stacks from that. That's not too bad, Rogue. There we go. Six stacks and three. <laughs> six stacks and three. That's not bad at all. No. For like well, how long we were there? Like 10 minutes? Maybe if that, huh? I, yeah. That's really good. I think that's good. I've never I made a so. functional blaze farm before, so <laughs> <laughs> this has been an experience. I, Thank you. Yeah, I would say this is a very good drop rate. It definitely helps having that second spawner for sure. Okay. I have, well, I have enjoyed building this crazy farm with you. Probably more I have, complicated than it needs to be, but I think it's worked out. Yes, it came together nicely. And I'm actually thinking, not to make it more complicated, but... Uh, I think to make things a little easier, possibly, is... Sorry. <laughs> uh, once we get them in here, I think it should be super easy. Just like a lever somewhere, mm -hmm. and then some sticky pistons, and then we can... At three block height. So they're there. So I guess it would cover... Uh, well, I guess if we're using the portal, or only one at a time, they're not going to come through. We can push blocks over so basically it caps the blaze from flying up in the air it just keeps them at the oh. as tall as they are two blocks if that makes yeah, sense yeah yeah that's fine were you seeing them fly up in the air i wasn't seeing them but oh yeah so i actually saw uh when you're hitting them like a, they kind of went up in the air like as a column like four of them mm, up okay. one yeah. side yeah uh sticky pistons with that that would be that's easy to do great you can just turn yeah. that off 
That'll close. Yeah, so that way they can't go up, I guess, when they get aggroed. They just... Yep. <laughs> Perfect. In theory, you know, if they they shouldn't be popping out for any reason. So then for copper or for redstone bulbs, uh, do we have a Redstone bulbs, and we want to sell those for copper bulbs. Need... I would like to. It would just, I guess, finding our copper source. So known as any one of the trial chambers that have been uh, fully looted? The Actually, there is a trial chamber. I don't think anyone's been to it. Near my base area. Um, I think like on the edge, one of the edges, corners of my island... There's a trial chamber underneath. Nice, so that should be easy. Yeah, so we just grab a bunch of that. Um, we have this. I have redstone for it. We just need to come up with a, a shop idea. Yes, I can okay. I, I can work on that. Or do you, do you have an idea for a shop that you were thinking? I don't want to just be like, I got an idea. Let's run with it because I don't. Um, Not necessarily. I was considering because I have the bee farm. Mm -hmm. And I have a spider farm, so I can make candles. I was considering... I know, is it... Alien who has the frog lights? Yes, yes, yes. But uh, I'm thinking of maybe some sort of light shop. Possibly. Ooh, that would Minus be nice. frog lights, <laughs> I guess. That would be nice. Just so just have so a, a, a light shop that has all the lights in it. Yeah, so torches, if need be, copper bulbs, right? What they're called. Um, what else was there? Lanterns, candles. I think that'd be... I don't think anyone has sea pickles. Sea pickles, I would love head. to have sea pickles. Okay, yeah, I have sea... I was the one placing all... If you notice, all the sea pickles in the spawn town are uh, kind of around my areas, so... That was me. <laughs> okay. Spawn proving. So we have some some sort of idea for if we want to do a light shop, we have some lights we could sell that way. And we'll just buy Alien out of all his frog light farms. I, he has a farm for his frog lights at this point. I don't know if... Uh, you know what? Let's just do it. Let's just... We'll go in competition with Alien. That's the plan. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. And then I was just thinking, uh, Glowstone, your witch farm, right, produces... The glowstone I have, dust? I have a lot of glowstone, yes. Yes. Okay, so we have that covered. Uh, yeah, I think that just about covers everything. Minus sea lanterns. I don't have a ocean monument. But Moss did give me a shulker with a bunch of overflow, so I have at least a row, I think, of prismarine or oh, sea nice. lanterns. Nice. Nice. You know, hey, if we it's, want to do it's that. okay. It's okay to be a wholesaler in real life. You know, you can buy stuff from other people's shops and then resell it for a slightly higher price. But like, hey, it's convenient. You have all of your items here. That's totally <laughs> a legitimate strategy. All right. Yeah. So it sounds like then uh, we have a plan for a light shop in the the near future here. We do. We do. All right. I love it. Perfect. All right. Great. Well, Sweet. okay. Uh, I'm I'm gonna go now because it's actually. And I know it's sunny right now, but it's late. So, uh, bro, this has been awesome. This has been awesome. Yes. Really, thank you. All right, uh, I'm going to grab my shulkers, good. and then I'm going to fly away, and I'll see you later. Bye, Rogue. All right. See ya. And here we are, back again, safe and sound in the shopping district. I hope that you enjoyed our interaction with Rogue Fox. He is just awesome to hang around with. Uh, so, if you like this episode, let me know down in the comments. If there's anyone else you want to see me collaborate with, just let me know as well. As always, thank you so much for watching, Beautiful Pixels. You're the best, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye. <laughs>